is a super quick refresher, super quick refresher on slope fields and Euler's method. Super quick refresher on slope field and Euler's method. Uh, and we're going to do it on this glorious this glorious slope field board here. That's, that's roughly accurate. Yes, we're under two months to graduation, by the way, just so we're all clear on that. I know, it's not long. So, refresh my memory. When I go to do slope fields, I got to draw little tiny pieces of tangent line. Tell me all the places where the tangent line will be horizontal. That's correct. Where x is 0 or where y is 0, I'm going to draw a little tiny horizontal piece of tangent line. And so generally they'll say, if you got all the zero slopes in the right places, one point. And then they'll say, okay, let's get the non-zero slopes. So then you just have to kind of play uh, at one, one, the slope is one half, but at one, two, the slope is one. At two, one, the slope is one. At two, two, the slope is much bigger than one. Um, at negative one, one, the slope is negative a half, but at negative two, one, the slope is negative one, and you get a slope field, and it's gorgeous. At every point, we have little tiny pieces of tangent line, and just in case the folks at home miss why that's true, the slope of the tangent here is x times y over two. The slope of the tangent line here is x times y over two, and so at every possible location, we draw a little tiny piece of tangent line. Now, you could be asked to sketch a solution curve, maybe passing through the blue dots. And if you're asked to sketch a solution curve passing through the blue dot, then you got to figure that on the right side of the blue dot, what's our function doing? That's going up somehow. And then the curve has to flatten out somewhere. Where's the curve going to flatten out when x is 0? So whatever it's doing, it's got to flatten out here. And then what's it doing on the left side? It's shooting up like, um, like who else would shoot up? That's probably true. Actually, if I'm going to be true to the picture here, if I'm going to be true to the picture here, it appears that there is symmetry on both sides of the axis. So what other dot should this probably pass through? It probably should, shouldn't it? It probably should. It's an even function. So let me go one step further with this. Uh, if uh, f of 1 is 1, estimate f of 2 using Euler's method. with delta x is 0.5. Because I've never seen an Euler's method question that didn't use two subintervals. So I'll use two subintervals. From this point, which is now the green dot, tiny piece of tangent line. What is the slope of that tiny piece of tangent line? One half. So the slope of that tangent line is one half. That's delta y over delta x. And so delta y is 0.25. And so when we make our first pit stop, our first pit stop is at one and a half. Nope. 1.25. We went up a quarter. When we do Euler's method a second time, what is the slope of that second? Oh, let's go purple. What is the slope of that second line? 
I don't want to do it either. Slope is x times y, that's 3 halves times 5 fourths over 2. You think I know what that is? You think I know what that is? Because I don't. But whatever it is, we're going to say that that slope, that slope is delta y over 0.5. And we take that home tonight. Arrgh. And you're off. Bless you. You're off. Someday they're going to fix the clock.